Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so first things first, I have no makeup on. It's like 8 in the morning right now. And I decided to film McDonald's breakfast mukbang. And I was about to put some makeup on. I'm like, you know what? Bre you know, since it is breakfast, let's get real, you know? Who eats breakfast? If you're staying home, who eats breakfast with full on makeup, right? So, so I decided to just go on with how I woke up this morning. I mean, I do have a little bit of lip um, lip tint on, but that's really about it. I tried to fill in the eyebrows and I kind of gave up in the middle of it. So yeah, um, I am wearing these glasses to just cover up a little bit of my face. <laughs> um, this shirt, I fell asleep in it last night because you guys know I normally wear like a pullover, but today I'm wearing a t-shirt. Um, I have nothing else on. <laughs> Before I start, um, last week I asked you guys, um, through like a comment on one of my videos, if you guys wanted to see a dessert mukbang, and uh, I got over like 15,000 likes, 1,500 likes, which, uh, which is more than I expected. So I am doing dessert mukbang this week. However, I am not doing it until a little couple of days later because I ordered a couple of things online that didn't come yet. And I am only doing two episodes on that. You know, I normally do three. And cause it's because I am scared. I don't bake for a reason. I'm not good at it. I fail almost every single time. It can be the simplest thing. I fail. I'm just not a good baker. I mean, I'm still learning to cook and I can't really move on to baking yet but just because i haven't done a dessert mukbang for the longest time if not at all um yeah i decided to pr um make some fun desserts to share with you guys um which will happen tomorrow or next couple of days i don't know but i hope you guys are excited for that as much as i am i have like eye booger um, but before that, I wanted to fill in a couple of videos with uh, random mukbangs like today and probably I'll do another carry out later today or something like that. So, um, and I remember reading a comment, someone said, oh, Kimmy, I really love your cooking and mukbang videos, but I do miss you just doing random mukbangs where you just eat whatever the hell you want. I'm like, you know what? I do too. Sometimes I do get sick of cooking, you know? Um, so very easy. I am very happy to do this today. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this and let me tell you guys what I got. I got some big breakfast that comes with omelet or scrambled eggs, um, biscuit, pancake, and hash brown. And I also got this steak, egg, cheese, bagel sandwich that also comes with the hash brown. Um, this is a full meal. Uh, I got an iced vanilla coffee and this is McMuffin, no McGriddle with egg and cheese. And I got a sausage burrito. So let's just start eating. Only thing that I probably won't even touch is a biscuit. I don't like the biscuit. I don't know why. Like, even when I go to a KFC or like, any kind of chicken place, they give you a biscuit. I'm just like, mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll eat it when I'm like hungry and there's nothing else to eat. But. Something that I just don't like it that much. And like, I see people eating with strawberry jam. Not me. Moo moo. Moo 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 moo. Mommy's so happy because I don't have to cook. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love cooking, but sometimes it can be a hassle. And it's nice to have, take a break, especially I'm, I'm going to have to bake in a couple of days. <laughs> well, not necessarily baking, not all of them, but. Um, I only I, sh I think I'm only baking in one video for other video. I it's like still there's a little bit of preparation Which I'm not like excited about because I'm scared But this one is my favorite No Just Like that <sighs> I'm sorry. I look really shitty Mmm I haven't had this in a while. Mmm. Very good. Let's get some hot sauce. 
this is weird. You on me, what are you thinking? I mix my ketchup and hot sauce. Super good. Let's try the egg, egg cheese, cheese egg, egg and cheese McGriddle. McGriddle is so good. So McGriddle, it comes with like it's just think of it as a regular sandwich or a burger, but the buns are actually very sweet. Mm. I used to think that this was very weird in the beginning because the buns are sweet and the sausages are salty. That was weird, but it's pretty good. Mm. That, that reminds me for some reason. I'll announce the wooden spoon winner. Yeah, wooden spoon winner in my first dessert episode. So stay tuned for that. Mm. Probably by next video where um, I just do a carry out, I'm gonna miss cooking already. <laughs> but oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys, I got the apartment. Oh. I just might be the happiest person right now <laughs> because that they were taking so long. So when I got this apartment, it was really, really quick process, you know, like they. I apply for it and they're like, oh, we just need to see your credit score and like how much you guys are making a month. We just had to prove it to them, you know, like send their statements and all. And our um, pay stub. And it took maybe a day or so. Like the lady took a look at it. It's like, okay, it seems like you guys are making enough. And I see your blah, blah, blah and your income. I think, you, guys, you know, you guys are good to go. You guys are approved. Welcome. Maybe it took a day most at most two. But this apartment is supposed to be, it is a lot nicer. It's supposed to be kind of like a luxury. Like not really, but they call themselves luxury, you know? Like I'm not going to really expensive. It's not, I'm not trying to say that. But I know that's definitely nicer than here. I'm paying more, you know? I hope that's what I get. No, I'm paying a lot more, so it better be nicer. And we're going to a nicer place because, um, you know, I'm gonna have a roommate, so I got to save a little money on um our rent money, so just by a little bit. <laughs> So, they've been really slow on getting back to me. So, I actually bugged them a lot. Like, so, like, do you guys need anything else? They're like, no, it seems like you're good to go. We're just waiting on this and that. I'm like, okay. And, like, two days later, I just still didn't hear anything from them. I was like, okay, so, like, is everything okay? You know, like, like are you sure you don't need any other information? We just need this person to sign this tomorrow and you should be good to go. So I expected the, them to contact me back the next day. They didn't. So I emailed them the next day. I was like, so, okay, like, let me be straightforward. Did I get this place or not? They're like, oh, everything's approved. You're going to be get, getting the welcoming letter tomorrow. I'm like, okay. Whew. I know some of you guys might think that, Kimmy, you're so impatient. Impatient. <clears throat> but if you think about it, I'm looking for other, like, I have less than a month to prepare for this move. And I'm not staying here. 
So, don't you think it's fair for them to tell me, like, like kind of keep me updated fast so that either I could commit to this place or move on to different, like, looking for other apartments? <clears throat> so that's why, in a way, like, I wanted to know, like, I don't... Because, in a way, yeah, I wanted to know because I read, like, you know, I rather, if I'm gonna be disappointed, I'd rather be disappointed quick and get it over with. Uh, and I could move on and find a better place. I always think this way. If I don't get this place, you know what? Then it's not meant to be. I'm meant to get a better place. That's how I always think. And I'm pretty sure that, that's how a lot of you guys think. So... I mean, I wasn't always like that. I always thought that, oh my god, this is the one. I need to get this. This is the place I want to be. You know, if I, did, if I didn't get the place or, or get approved or something, I'll be so upset. Like, oh my god, like, I, I have nowhere to go. You know, I don't want to be anywhere else. But now I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. You know, maybe somewhere better is going to pop up. But <laughs> it got approved, so... I'm really happy with this place and I can't wait to show it to you guys, but I probably can't until, uh, next month when I get the keys. Yeah, next one, next month it's gonna be so busy. Because in May, I'm gonna be, I think the second week or something, I'm gonna be in California. And when I come back, I have to go to my sister's group sister's graduation the next day and the next day i'm getting my keys so hopefully i can show you guys um around and i'm gonna try to we're probably not moving moving in right away but slowly within that whole week uh i'm gonna try to get my filming stuff moved in first so i could start filming there <clears throat> so I'm very excited guys I get to have my own film room. But that doesn't mean that I'm only gonna film in, film in there. I think I'm gonna film in the living room too. I think the film room is majorly going to be for my computer. And probably my green screen. Like, what do you mean green screen, Kimmy? Um, I started an ASMR channel. And I've been using the green screen a lot. Somebody on that channel actually, um, mentioned, Kimmy, why don't you officially announce or promote your ASMR channel on my main channel? I thought about that. Why did I not? And I think it's because because ASMRs are not for everyone. I kind of like wanted people to just find their way there instead of me trying to force people to go. You know? I don't know. But check out my channel. I've been trying to do a lot of, um, well, I guess I only did one, but my main thing on that channel is going to be, uh, what I do or what I eat in a day in the ASMR version. So it doesn't always, it's going to be like a short vlog, but it's going to show you what I'm eating that day, what I'm doing that day. For example, in my recent video I did, 
I filmed myself drinking a coffee and um, like internet surfing, so like keyboard ASMR and what I ate rest of the day. So yeah. Mm. I'm not going all over the place. I don't know what you like. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for that channel. Um, I have this idea, you know, the whole vlogging thing. I really like the idea of it. The you know, vlogging and ASMR version. But it's hard to film. You know? But hopefully, I'll get in the hang of it. And now that I'm in my new apartment, I'm gonna have more things, like like more stationary things. Like, right now I'm all over the place. I film everywhere. But hopefully, when I move, <clears throat> well, it's gonna be easier for me to film. Which I think it will be. So guys, what should I eat tomorrow? <clears throat> I want to do a carry up. What should I eat? <clears throat> I haven't done Maggiano's for a long time. I like spaghettis. Or I could go to <clears throat> Olive Garden. Ooh, I haven't. I've never done Olive Garden yet. Um, what else is there? Olive Garden. Should I do Panda Express again? I'm eating so much egg right now. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so full. I'm gonna be talking a lot today. eat tomorrow So, on Monday, I had to go to PetSmart because I Ame had a complimentary, com complimentary, 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 man, I'm such a fob, Com complimentary visit at PetSmart because I did the wellness plan, the monthly thing, and I went, 
He did his regular checkup, blood checkup. He got a Lyme vaccine. And the vet told me that his anal glands, I'm sorry if this is disgusting, but his anal glands are, it's supposed to be, it's not supposed to fill up, but Ame is just born that way, so every time he uh, has a little bit of diarrhea or a little bit of softer stool, the anal glands fill up. So he needs to get it manually squeezed out, which um, normally dogs, they just, you don't, you don't need to do that, but Ame has to, like you have to manually, manually squeeze it out. Uh, he got that done yesterday. They actually, that's actually not part of the plan, so that's extra charge that I actually have to pay. They were like t printing out the receipt. They're like, "Oh yeah, you don't have to pay us anything today," and but I was in a hurry, right? So I just took the receipt and ran out. And I went in my car. I looked at the receipt until like my car was warming up again. For they didn't charge me for that procedure, and I was in a hurry. I had to go, and I was thinking, and I was literally so close from driving off. But I don't know. This part of me felt so guilty. Not it's not like I like lied to them or any, it's not it's their fault for not charging me, right? But I felt so guilty. So I just got out of the car and I went back and like obviously there were more people there so I had to wait a little bit. And I was like, Hey, you didn't charge me for this. They're like, Oh my gosh, thank you for so much. It was really nice of you to come back. I'm like, Yeah, 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 like can you get it done so I can go? But but in my head, I thought, maybe because I was so honest, maybe they wouldn't charge me. But, I mean, it's not like, it's, this is no, like, restaurant where you can just give free, you know, where you can just give up free dishes and all, you know? So they charged me. <laughs> but I don't know, I felt better. But I remember one of my friends telling me, yeah, I went to Walmart, and this lady gave me a lot more change. Like she, like, I think he was supposed to get to get like a ten dollar change, but he got a twenty or something like that. And I'm just like, are you sure? Maybe you did the calculation wrong. He's like, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure I looked at the receipt, everything. So he's like, oh my god, such a lucky day. I got like ten extra dollars. I'm like, you didn't tell her. You know, like at the end of the day, they might be getting in trouble. But yeah, it's true. It's they fucked up. None of your business. You know, but. I don't know, like me, like I'm the type of person that it's gonna just bother me. Like probably just for a couple hours, man, I'll, I'll probably forget about it. But at that moment when I'm driving home, I'm gonna be like, oh, I should have, I should have just, be, I should have been honest. I should have went back or something like that. That's why I think that's why I did it on Monday with Amy's thing. Because it was bothering me. I was in my car. I'm like, oh, I just I'm so lazy. I have to go. But part of me just like twenty six dollars, you know. So what would you guys have done? Do you think you could you wouldn't went back? Was I being too like honest? Is that stupid of me to do that? I feel like they would have called me later of the, later that day and be like, "Hey, you didn't. We actually forgot to charge you, so we're gonna just like charge you on your monthly payment thing." If I was gonna get charged either way, isn't it better if you come off honest and a better person? Let me know. I want to see how many people would have actually took off. Because it is their fault for not doing that. And I'm pretty sure... If they didn't charge you and like called you later, Hey, you forgot to pay this. I'm pretty sure there's people out there where they're, they're going to be like, So? You didn't charge me that. I'm not gonna pay. Like you fucked up, you know. And I think maybe I kind of saw that from my mom. My mom did that a lot. Like when we went to Target, I think she got an extra change too. Like um, like not like ten dollar, but a couple dollars. She's like, oh, they gave me too, like, too much money. I'm like, oh, who cares? It's only a couple dollars. This was in high school. I was like, let's just go. I'm going to go home. And she's like, no, 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 you can't do that. And she, we went back and she gave them the money back. 
I'm just like, maybe that's where I got it from. Mm -hmm. I used to have those moments when I was working at a nail shop and like the customer pay everything like tip and the uh, like a manicure and pedicure, pedicure and cash and like I kind of like calculate it I'm like oh my god they gave me like $30 tip oh my god I'm so happy and I realized I calculated everything wrong so and they ended up giving me like $10 I don't even know how I calculated it wrong but yeah I have moments like that Lately, I haven't really been. I had I, lately, I haven't really been dieting because after I started my ASMR channel, I eat like decent amount of food every single day now, which I have no problem with because after I started working out and doing weights. I don't know, I've been digesting a lot faster, going using the bathroom a lot more often. And I just feel more tighter. You know, I can eat a lot more. Right now, I can't because I still breakfast, maybe. Oh yeah, that's my life. I get so greedy when I'm hungry. Mm. Like, I didn't need to order all this food, right? But I did. Because I'm greedy. But now I'm full, I can't even eat all this. Mm. Ooh. Okay, so tomorrow... Uh, this is something I want to talk about today, but I kind of like start talking about other random stuff. But I was going through my old videos uh, and I was reading the comments because some people still comment on my older videos. So I was just looking through and I came across this comment that was commented about a year ago, maybe a little more. It's from, I don't know if she still watches my videos, but Jill G. Can you talk about some hardships that really impacted your life? Love your videos. Thank you for commenting that a year ago. Um, if you still watch me, great. But I feel like you're probably not. But anyways, yeah, I think I'm going to talk about what um, hardships that I went through so far, 26 years of my life. Um, before I turned 27, I'm going to talk about in my next video what um, hardships I went through that, you know, significantly, significantly impacted my life, me, as an individual, um, just my lifestyle and everything. So I would love to talk about that in the next video. I have no idea what I'm going to eat. I kind of want... Uh, maybe I'll get some sushi. Do you guys like sushi? Oh, should I get some sushi? Mm, that means I have to get it tonight. Mm, but it's not going to be good tomorrow morning. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this random mukbang. There's going to be another random one tomorrow. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And let me know if there's anything you guys want me to talk about. Um, but this week, yeah, there will be dessert. Two episodes on desserts. So stay tuned for that. I will be baking, cooking in there. So oh, pray for me. <laughs> I mean, I was supposed to do something else. Like a different ingredient this week. But the whole dessert thing came up. And I was kind of like, you know. Okay, I kind of want to do the dessert one too. Um, so this week is super not organized. So I hope you guys understand that. And please do check out my ASMR channel. I know this is still not a formal way of introducing my channel. But I want people to come there on their own. I don't know. Maybe I'm expecting too much. Maybe, I, like, maybe my ASMR video. They need a lot of work. They need, um, they're still coming together. And I know later... Hopefully in a couple weeks or a couple months, it's going to become like my main channel. Like I know what I'm doing. But that channel, I just, I'm still testing out many things that I'm good at. 
what I like and you know what works for me. So thank you guys so much who's been supporting me here, of course, but also who's been supporting me on my ASMR channel. It means a lot, guys, because I am trying out new things and you guys are loving it. And thank you guys for that. If you guys like these random mukbangs, let me know. I, I would love to do these because I it, this was so easy, you know, like just like oh my credit, my boyfriend's credit card. Okay, and I come home and I film. So check out Tongtigir's channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.